Hi and welcome to another Instrument Choice support video. In this video we'll demonstrate how to set up the ICXC0412 Temperature and Humidity Weather Station and give an overview of the functions. To start, install the two AA batteries into the outdoor sensor. To do this, remove the battery door, install the batteries observing the polarity, then replace the battery door. The LCD and status indicating LED will light up. Then remove the battery door on the base of the indoor unit, install two AA batteries and replace the compartment door cover. The LCD will light up displaying all the indoor information as well as the time and the date. Wait as the indoor and outdoor sensor connect. You can tell the units are connected when the outdoor sensor area on the console starts to display data. The sensor is now connected. The indoor console displays the time, barometric pressure, date, forecasting information, alarm information, moon phase, outdoor sensor channel, the outdoor sensor temperature and humidity information, and last of all the indoor temperature and humidity information. Next we'll run through the functions of the four buttons under the screen. The first button, history, when pressed displays the records of the last 24 hours. There's no change as the station has only just been switched on. The next is memory, pressing this checks the minimum and maximum temperature and humidity readings. Pressing and holding the MEM key for 3 seconds will delete the records. Next is the dual function 12, 24 and down selection key. Pressing this when on the home screen switches between 12 and 24 hour time format. And pressing and holding this for 3 seconds also activates wireless pairing mode. When in any settings, use this key to move down between available selections. And the last key on the front is the dual function channel and up selection key. When on the home screen in normal mode, press this to move between the sensor channels. We only have one sensor paired, so the other two channels do not show any information. If you have multiple outdoor sensors set up, pressing and holding this key will make the indoor console cycle through them automatically. When in a setting, you can also use this key to move up between available selections. On the back, there are a couple of extra keys. The first is time. Press and release this to switch between alarm one and alarm two. Pressing and holding this allows you to move through and enter the time setting mode. When in time setting mode, use the up and down selection arrows on the front to adjust the parameter and press the time key again on the back to move into the next time setting. The time setting order is selection between day, month or month days, view, select the month, day, daylight savings time on automatic or off, select the hour, minute, second, and last of all the language. The next button on the back is the alarm. Press this to turn on or off alarm 1 and alarm 2. Or press and hold this key for 2 seconds to enter into alarm setting mode. When in alarm setting mode, use the up and down selection arrows on the front to adjust the parameter and press the alarm key on the back to move into the next time setting. Alarm setup options for the alarms are to select the hour, the minute and turn the ice pre-alarm on or off. Next is the Celsius Fahrenheit button. Press this to switch the temperature display to your desired unit. The last button is Barrow. This button manages the barometric pressure settings. Press and release the Barrow button to move between pressure display in hectopascals or inches of mercury. Or you can press and hold this for 3 seconds to move between the display of relative and absolute pressure. Press the up and down arrows to adjust. In relative pressure mode, you can adjust atmospheric pressure as required. Press the up and down arrows to adjust. And that's how to set up and the functions of the ICXC0412 Temperature and Humidity Weather Station. For more information on this weather station, speak with an Instrument Choice Scientist. Call 1300 737 871 or see the additional contact information in the video description. We hope that you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.